Today we're going to work with Inkscape to do a text outline that would work on an overlay silhouette on a picture frame. Do your document set up, default inches, US letter, and then we grab the Create Rectangles and Squares tool, get your approximate frame size, your width, 5 inches by 7 inches standard frame outline, then convert the object paths to better manipulate the line. Fill and stroke, it doesn't have any fill. Stroke paint will be a flat color. Stroke style, 2 pixel width, and then we're going to put a join type around join. It'll help with the font that we choose. Select the text tool, create and edit text objects. Type your text and select all your text. Go to the text menu and get your dialog box for text. Forte is a nice thick, holds together well with outlines. Font size is 72 points, give you an inch high text. While still selecting the whole text, we're going to convert the object to path so we have editable lines. Then we're going to group all the ungroup all the letters so that we can place each letter as necessary. Uh, remove the fill and then place the stroke in. And do the stroke style as two pixels to fit with the outline. Do a round join type. And then we have our text ready to place. Keeping the whole text highlighted, move down to the lower left corner, unclick, and then select the M. So we'll move the M and overlap the frame and the bottoms of the letters. Notice how it sticks down a little bit. That gives a little more meat to hold on to when we apply the difference command and select both the frame and the letter M, then apply the difference. And notice we have one continuous path now on an outline and two edit marks. Grab your E, drop it down, put it below the line a little bit, select the frame, apply difference. Our R, same thing, select the frame, apply the difference, select the I, give it a little base. We have a nice seamless gap there to the difference. The N, a little bit off, so click on it twice and you can skew the letter. Twist it a bit so you have a more equal join at the bottom. Move it down a little bit below the line. Select the frame. Apply the difference. And once again, the D and well align a little bit closer, shift click to select the frame, apply the difference, finally the A, a little bit of skew, and nice base, shift click for the frame, and apply the difference. So let's zoom out and clean up the full text, there might be a few spots Notice the center of the E is a little problematic, the dotted I. So we'll select everything, and then we break it apart so we can move these individual points around. Drop the I, dotted the I, then do a difference, and now it's joined to the rest of the I. Let's look at that center of the E. And now we can move to the Edit by Nodes. 
you haven't spent much time editing a path by nodes, it's worth giving it some good thought and practice, just playing around to see how the, to drag the nodes and to change the shape of the path. And then how the individual handles move the shape of the path. And you can turn those nodes into smooth corners, round corners, uh, symmetric, uh, different ways to make the path a little more pleasing. Delete some of the nodes on the path. Um, and uh, generally have any kind of control over the curve of your path. And just hover over the tool button. You can see the tool tip. And uh, get that E, give it a little more meat to hold on to. And uh, space the cutout. If you do an auto trace, you want to clean up the paths from a trace, you'll use these to make the path exactly the way you want. Uh, you can get some nice auto trace, but uh, almost always need to do a little bit of hand tweaking of the nodes and the paths. And other than that, it looks pretty good. There's enough space on the bottom we could widen those out a little bit more by clicking on the nodes and spread them out, but all in all, uh, fairly decent um, and simple way to liven up a picture frame with personalized name. Thanks for watching.